Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. April 15th, we're going to be announcing our annual business meeting for all members. You know, anyone that wants to come up with the members are going to be voting, members that are going to have a say in uh, where this church is going, how it's going, and you know, we're going to be uh, launching that April 15th, uh, Wednesday night. Okay. Please mark it in your calendars. <coughs> Members must be there, yes. Be there. Members. That's why we're members. Annual business meeting. Annual business meeting. Wednesday, April 15th. Come to Latin WKBRW. <laughs> Kidding. Anyway, got to have some fun. Eh? Amen. 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 Um, just want to make a couple of, couple of uh, announcements. we got to get, you have to bear with us, church, because we're, we're new at this. You know, like, honestly, like, there's so much we're missing. Like, there's so much we're missing in the Sunday services and Sunday morning and doing announcements, and we miss so much. But uh, God's going to help us, and Amen. with His help and grace, we're going to get there. Amen. But I always want to bring attention, and I want to just encourage everyone. You know what? These are very nice bulletins, and you know what? Take them home, and you know what? Let's just not throw them in the garbage. I'm keeping every one of mine, because you know what? Guess what? On the back is a picture, and guess what we can do with these pictures? I can intercede for this family every day of the month. Every day of the week, year, doesn't matter. We can we can take them and we can lay hands on them as a point of contact. And let's not think that point of contact is silly. Because I'll tell you, I believe we as Christians must be radical. And I'm telling you, Jesus, Paul, he sent a cloth out. He prayed over it, anointed it, and sent it out. And people were healed and delivered. And uh, in September, Paul and I went down to Ernest Angley, and, and he had uh, he had sent a prayer cloth out too. And I'm telling you, people are putting that thing on them, on their bodies, believing it's not in the cloth; it's in the faith. <laughs> but it's still, it's a point of contact. When someone can't be there, you touch it, and you believe God to touch them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! So keep the bulletins. Pray for the. Well, you don't have to pray for the overseer because he's Jesus. But hallelujah. I think, you know what? Isn't that nice, though, that when you think about the overseers, our Lord? Yeah. That, that is so refreshing, man. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And pray for the team, too. Pray for, you know, Reverend Doug Armershaw did a beautiful job this morning. I appreciate yes. my brother and his wife. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, really, truly, when we, when we, there were two weeks ago, there in the bowling, there are pillars of this church. And I don't care if he's only been here four or five or 15 years. Bottom line is he's, he's, he's a pillar of the faith. Yeah. Amen. He's done his time. They've done their time. They've gone through their woes and their ups and downs, and they know what it's like. And, and when you go to them for advice, believe me, you're going to get godly advice. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. Now, on to the ugly. I shouldn't say this, really, but I like this little thing. We're having a kickoff. And, it's, and if you look in your bulletin, if you have them, it shows the guy holding the football, one kicking it. And it says, one to hold, one to kick, and two to go, door-to-door -door evangelizing. Wow. Yes! Woo! Hallelujah! Amen. You know, the Bible says that we must send them out two by twos. Yeah. One to hold, one to kick, and two to go. <coughs> I love that. That's, kick. That's really flicky. You know what I'm saying? It's a kickoff. <laughs> but I believe we have to evangelize, mobilize, and organize. And for the last 15 months, this church has been spinning like a, like a top by a string string wasn't going anywhere and I'm not saying not anyone's fault we just we just didn't do it you know and uh, it's just time to, we got to share we just got to share Jesus you know we're thinking of um, taking the kids taking the bus we're gonna Tony and I and Paul we're gonna organize uh, uh, a day and we're gonna go out door to door there's about 200 homes we can hit we're gonna knock we're gonna put uh, uh, door knockers on them we're gonna introduce just knock, just got knocked on the doors and run but we're going to knock on the doors and introduce ourselves to what we have here, our availability. There's probably six new faces today that came into this church. And you know what, guys? I want to encourage you. Everyone's a minister here. We all need to minister. Don't leave it up to the board. Don't leave it up to the whoever's going to be passed. doesn't matter. We all have a mouth, a tongue, and in it we can say, hey, how are you doing? What's your name? Right. Can, I get, can I give you my name? Can I get your name? And, and guess what? We can do visitation as the body. Everybody's involved. Hallelujah. This is what this church is about. Everybody's involved. Everyone. Not just one person. Not just a, a group or a board or whatever. Everybody's involved. Amen. We still need... I, we're going to have to get, I guess, some kind of sheet to, to some, for people to sign up and because we're going to need nursery workers 
And that's a big one too because I don't want the ones that are just doing it. I don't care if it's, if it's you guys starting it. I would say the same thing. Uh, you can't just have one person doing it all the time because we got to, it's a teamwork. And we need to say, it's almost like we're passing the baton. One week someone does it, or, or two weeks they do it, and then they pass it on, and guess what? That person's sitting and getting fed. Well, that person's out there blessing the children. And, and you put you put into the children. So it's, it's a real ministry. If Jesus thought it was good for the children to come to him, oh my goodness, how much more is it for us to think? Amen. Hallelujah. It's just not looking after them, and don't think they're all brats. Oh, I don't know if they're being recorded or not. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I think they are being recorded Sunday mornings. I don't know about Sunday nights. Not right now? Okay. We'll, we'll get Tony to get on that. Tony. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank God for my brother Tony. Don't forget, next Sunday is going to be the love offering for the Hernandez family. And I really believe God's going to bless them. Oh, yeah. Because I'm telling you, without Tony and uh, and his family here, and I'll tell you right now, our youth will be gone. You know, yeah. that's starting anyway. God's really starting to move in this place now and Hallelujah. So really pray about this and ask Jesus what he would want you to bless them with. You know, they might stretch you a little bit, but so what? You just put that little lower there, buddy. <laughs> Come on, man. You don't have to be eternal to be divine. Let's go. <laughs> Hallelujah. The preacher loose. Oh, on that note, come on up, buddy. Glory. Hallelujah. It's all yours. You didn't sing about the upper room. Oh, I did this morning. You weren't here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, Brother Roger, Brother Peter, come on up. We're going to take the yes, Lord. Lord. <laughs> hey, go back to your guitar, man. You're not done yet. Hallelujah. Amen. Glorious. Seat envelopes. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise oh, the Lord. offering, sorry. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. This is a seed we sow, yeah. not a debt we owe. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. And we want you to uh, seed out and not only be giving, but also praying as well. Amen? Amen. Uh, the little boy had the uh, five loaves and the two fishes, and the Lord blessed it and broke it and multiplied it. I remember in Bible school. I was uh, with okay. Ma Jones in the kitchen, and there were several times we had our oven mitts on, and we laid our hands on the ovens, and we said, Lord, multiply, and I'm telling you, it multiplied. Amen. It multiplied. We, I went to a place called Faith School of Theology, amen, and we learned faith, amen? Amen. I remember I <clears throat> worked in the potato house and uh, helped peel and so on, but I was working in the potato house, and uh, we were down to our last few buckets of potatoes, and uh, they said, let's pray. And that afternoon, guess what? Rolled up into the driveway. A great big old potato truck filled with I don't know how many tons of potatoes. And uh, the Did Lord answered prayer. Hallelujah. 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 Brother, uh, Peter, would you have to work blessing upon the offering? Father, we bring our tithes and offerings to you again today. We thank the Lord for blessing us. Yes. Across the 